to give you a very quick painting tip. Now Annie Sloan has a fantastic range of colours, but you know what? You can make those colours go even further. What I like to do is mix some of the brighter colours with the whites. Now I like using old white in particular. It's very easy to do and I'll show you here what I'm going to do using old white and Provence. First off, using a spoon, I'm just going to measure out eight spoonfuls of old white into this pot I've got handy. One, two, three. Now if you've got a bigger job, obviously don't use a spoon, but you can use you know, a cup or you could even measure it out. For this little, little demonstration, I'm just going to use a spoon. So we've got eight spoonfuls in now. Another spoon here. All I'm going to do, lovely colour, Provence, very rich. One dollop of Provence in there. I'm going to stir it up now using a, using a flat sided stick. Makes it easier to stir. Now it's getting to be a lovely colour there. Now, let's see. If I just take a bit of that, I'm not sure you can see there, but this is a much, much paler, sort of pale bluey green. I think Annie Sloan's actually got a name for this. She calls it cricket because it's so, so quintessentially English. But you can see there, that's a lovely colour. And if I paint on some of the Provence on top, you can see the difference there. And you could do this with any colour. It's not, not just Provence, but you can almost create an infinite range of uh, tints. I do this a lot when I'm painting furniture. It's very handy. And there's those colours next to each other. That looks fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that tip. If you want to learn more, why not come on one of our workshops? Or another thing I can recommend is this Annie Sloan book. It's called uh, Quick and Easy Paint Transformations. It's definitely my favourite out of the Annie Sloan range. There's lots and lots of tips in here. Thanks for looking.